Hello everybody, this is the Uncle Hammer, back with another commentary. Today, I will be doing a commentary on the Van Ramps video about modern films. This video was uploaded by Puffy Zillion 4, also known as the Van Valudi Throwback Channel, which contains all of Van Valudi's old videos from 2007 to 2011. In his rant about modern films, he once again shows us exactly how biased he can be. Although this video is two years old and probably a little outdated, I still thought it would be a good idea to do a commentary on this one. So anyway, with that being said using this computerized voice, let's get started with this commentary. Welcome back to Ben Rants, and when I was a kid, there was a light on at the Frankenstein place. What on God's earth is the Frankenstein place? I would really like to know, and why are there no lights there? As you may know, I love films, dramas, comedies, animation, musicals, horror, science fiction, fantasy, documentaries, comedy drama, horror comedy, horror drama comedy, the works. Any genre of film, if I'm interested in it, I'm going to love. Films are used for us to escape from the world and let our imaginations run wild. Filmmakers use films to tell stories and just have fun. If you're interested in knowing my favorite films, check out my top 40 favorite films videos. Okay then, I will go and watch that video after this commentary. So, so yes, I'm a big film fan. However, this is the 2010s. This is the modern age. And what's wrong with the modern age? Everything sucks! Yes, random person from out of nowhere, everything sucks. And sadly, this includes films. Bullshit. I mean, wow. I cannot believe how unimaginative, how unoriginal, how cliched, and how ridiculous films have gotten. Just like everything else that used to be good in the 90s, films have also taken a step on the crappy side. And I'm going to give my thoughts on them. See what I mean? This is why he is such a classic card. I'd like to start with my favorite movie genre, animation. We've already established I'm a cartoon fan, and I wanted to make cartoons when I grow up. So, I love animated films from back in the day. I love Disney movies, I love Don Bluth movies, well, some of them, and I even love early Pixar movies. However, in the new ages, animated films have taken a turn for the worst. Now, before you expect it, I'm not going to bash on CGI in this video. Yes, believe it or not, I'm not. I just feel that animated movies are becoming less and less... animated. They're not losing their animation then. They are just simply evolving and upgrading to higher levels of animation. CGI has basically taken away all the cartoonishness I love about animation. Since my last round CGI, I'm starting to be more and more accepting of it, and I even have a few CGI animated films on my must-see list. However, CGI just isn't my favorite way to animate animated movies, and I'm worried it's going to get rid of 2D animation permanently. Oh no! Oh fuck! Are you saying that CGI is going to permanently eliminate 2D animation? Looks like the end is near! Run for your lives, people! Don't worry then, CGI animation is not going to get rid of 2D animation. It's just two different ways of animating films. I don't want that to happen. I don't like how CGI films overshadow 2D films. 2D animated films have just as much creativity and imagination as CGI animated films. Heck, I haven't even seen Pongo yet, but I have a hunch I'd enjoy it more than I did Up, and I don't even like anime! Anyway, animation hasn't taken a big step down as other movie genres go, but if it continues in this direction, I'm severely worried. Now how about we move on to the biggest piece of the crap sandwich, comedy films. Oh my gosh. Was that facepalm really necessary? And why the hell would you think comedy films are that bad? This is not a good sign at all. My goodness gracious, comedy movies have gone from being a laugh a second to a facepalm a second. Now my favorite comedies involve a lot of slap- Prepare myself for stupidity? What the fuck then? Are you trying to say that comedy films will give me fucking brain damage? Man, you must be high on cocaine or something. 
slapstick humor, and it also includes a lot of chaos going on. Some of my favorites are the Marx Brothers, the Three Stooges, Charlie Chaplin, and Laurel and Hardy. But as time went on, comedies became more and more reliable on verbal and dialogue humor, which I don't mind either. And of course, comedy movies used to do the best spoofs. Comedy movies still do some of the best spoofs. Nothing has really changed in the film genre. The comedy films of today still have hilarious parody jokes. So I really don't know why the fuck you would even bother bitching about this shit. Like, I'm a huge fan of Monty Python and Mel Brooks movies. And there are a few modern comedians that I can say I absolutely love. One of them is Jim Carrey. But now, comedies are just... <laughs> comedies are starting to rely more and more on humor that's idiotic and humor that involves sexual and gross content that is disgusting. Oh really, man? I think the humor is just as hilarious as creep humor. A perfect example of this would be this son of a mother trucking witch! Adam Sandler. It seems that every movie he's in, every scene he's in, he makes me want to drive my head through a wall. He is so annoying. I hate his voice, I hate his acting, and he's just not funny. I'm sorry, he's not funny. <laughs> Shut up! I know a lot of people like him. I know I'm probably going to get gagged and killed for this, but I'm sorry. I just hate his type of humor. I don't find him yelling at a golf ball funny. I don't find him getting married to Kevin James funny. And I don't find him seeing a penguin in his dreams funny. Plus, I feel he's the same character in every movie he plays. It's not like Jim Carrey, who's the same character in every movie he plays, but Jim Carrey's character is actually funny. Adam Sandler being a geek in every movie he's in is just an annoyance. I can't stand it. You blew it! So I choose to stay away from his movies. But to be honest, I love him in Saturday Night Live because he wasn't annoying. The characters he played were actually funny, and he wasn't in the skits for that long. So, those are my thoughts on Adam Sandler. I'm sorry, then, but those were the worst thoughts and most weak excuses about Adam Sandler. Maybe you just need to get a fucking life. But, Adam Sandler is only the icing on the crap cake. Comedies have fallen so far down, I don't even have to give examples as to why. All I have to do is show you pictures of these comedy stinkers, and it's enough to show you where comedies have gone. I don't see anything wrong with those comedy films. I've actually seen them all and thought they were pretty decent. There were even some parts of the films that were really funny. Besides, there are films a lot worse than the ones you listed. An example of that would be some of the best. There you go. And if there's any one of you out there that thought these movies were funny, I'm going to have you committed to an insane asylum. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Really, man? Really? Are you fucking serious? Are you high on drugs? Are you really that evil? So you would want to have someone locked away in a mental hospital just for having their own opinions? What the fuck, man? You have just proven yourself to have absolutely no respect for other people's opinions. This is a free country, for Christ's sake, and people, don't get committed to an insane asylum just for thinking a certain movie is funny. That's not how the real world works. And just because someone likes something that you really hate, doesn't mean you should have the audacity to say something like that. This is why you gained so many haters. And I still can't believe there wasn't already a commentary made on this rent video. And you know what then, if you came to my house and tried to commit me to an insane asylum just for liking one of those films, I will protect myself by taking a shotgun and blowing your fucking head off. How do you like the apples, bitch boy? Next, another movie genre that has fallen from grace is the horror genre. Horror movies have gone from being chilling and frightening to being hilarious and downright stupid. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Of course, it's very rare occurrence for me to get scared at, at a movie, but if I actually am getting a feeling that I'm supposed to be getting scared from a movie, then the horror movie is doing its job. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Which is what I get from a lot of classic horror movies. However, horror movies today, well... 
Too many stupid remakes, same boring cliches, no logic or exclamation, and making slasher movies from the 80s look like masterpieces. My gosh. My gosh. Why did you just repeat yourself in? I don't know what's dead or comedies or horror movies. I watch scary movies to be scared, not laugh my butt off about how stupid they are. There are some modern horror movies that I like, like Devil's Rejects and Paranormal Activity, but a lot of horror movies today are just plain idiotic. I can't believe I actually talk to a lot of kids who actually think a lot of modern horror movies are scary. I remember one kid said Signs was the scariest movie he's seen. If he thinks moronic aliens are afraid of water that land on a planet that's 70% water and can't break through a friggin' wooden door even though they have all this advanced alien technology is scary, then I hate to see what he think is funny. Ah! Never show that again! Well, those are the three main movie genres that I think have suffered most. Other movie genres are lacking as well, but not as much as these three. Action movies are becoming more of the same thing, musicals are becoming dead, drama movies are running out of ways to make viewers feel emotion, romantic movies are turning into this, and fantasy movies are becoming fantasy themselves. It just amazes me how we can go from having so many great movies to having movies that make backyard movies that five-year-olds make look good. It just amazes me. However, there are some other things about movies that I can't stand, that I want, must address. First, I'll start with the fact that we have too many remakes. I said it before, and I'll say it again. If you can't think of an idea on your own, then you shouldn't be making films. Wrong, 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 wrong. And there is the whore that is the Oscars. My gosh, I hate the Oscars. For one thing, they really shouldn't be needed because it's not fair that certain movies get awards because it's judged by an academy of people that think they know what they're doing. That's not fair because that's just their opinion. Just because you think it's the best doesn't mean others might think that. Heck, a lot of movies that have won Oscars, I've hated. And I'm not the only one. Plus, a lot of times awards are given to movies that haven't even been seen by the public yet. I don't see how that's fair. You give the best picture award to a movie, but nobody knows what it is. That's real smart. Plus, the Oscars must have lost a card game with Pixar to have them dominating the animated scene. Not to mention, after awards are given to movies, nobody cares because they're looking forward to next year's nomination. In my opinion, Oscars are just used to give publicity to movies that the Academy feels that we should see. Well, screw you, Academy. I'll watch whatever movies I'm interested in. I don't care if it's about an Indian guy winning money. I don't care if it's about some soldier in Iraq. And I don't care if it's about some king with a stuttering problem. I want to be entertained, and not bored. And if you're more entertained by those boring plots, then we're in a completely different ballpark. Bottom line, the Oscars are nothing but a waste of time that don't affect me as a movie viewer. If there are people watching this that like the Oscars, I'm not bashing you. I'm just bashing the people who think they can control what movies we watch. So, those are my thoughts on modern films. Seeing as how there's plenty of classic films for me to choose from, I'm not as mad at modern films as I am other things. Simply because you are a asshole. And, I don't go to the movies that much anyway, and for good reason. Whatever saves me money on movie tickets, I'm all for it. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate all modern movies. There are a selected few that I like, and there are great directors out there like Tim Burton and Quentin Tarantino that are still giving us hardcore movie fans the great movies we want to see. And, here are a few other minor nitpicks I have about modern films. There are too many comic book movies that don't stay true to the plot of the comics Bullshit. and are really overrated. When hype for a movie is created and people go see it, I hate to hear them complain because it wasn't as good as they thought it would be. Bullshit. Overuse of CGI, too many remakes, lack of good monster movies, and one Justin Bieber movie too many. Bullshit. And you jerk holes better not screw up that new Godzilla movie that's coming out next year. You Unfortunately, man, they did screw it up because the project was completely cancelled. You hear me? You hear me? I'm Ben, and I'm signing out. I'm gonna go film a backyard horror movie. And that's the end of his rent. I know this was a commentary that was done on an old Ben Rents video, but it seems like his logic was so fucked up that I really felt like pointing it out. 
especially when no one else had already done a commentary on this video. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed my commentary on this Ben Rents video. Have a nice day!